Good morning, everybody. It is um, Friday, January 6th, and time for an update on how my planners are working um, for 2023 and um, just showing you what they, where I am with each of them. And this is what I'm using for my pen, fountain pen case. It's a Blossom Garden by Paperian. Paperian? I don't know, Paperian. Um, and I like it, it's cute, it's a vinyl. And I, I don't have all my pens in here. I have four, four of these Pilo, Pilot, Pilo, Pilot Metro, um, Pilot MR Retro pens. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, let me look in here <sighs> to help me with that. <laughs> Usually helps if I take a look at things. Pilot MR Retro Pop series. And I have them in purple, green, turquoise, and orange. The purple is for my faith journal. The green and turquoise ones I use um, in my in my uh, devotional time in the morning, in my prayer journal, and in my soap, which is scripture observation, application, and prayer journal. And then this orange one I use in my tracker. <clears throat> so those are four. I'll just show you what I've got. Um, then I have four sailors, so that makes eight. So I've got the Prophet Junior, two of those. And I have a different, a brighter ink, I believe a brighter green ink in this one. Um, I did write which inks I had in which pens. So, oh, the orange chrome I put in a Tokiwa, a Tokiwa Matsu, which is a um, darker green. And it's actually the same color almost as this one. This is a sailor as well, Tokiwa Matsu. I mean, this one is that. But this one just has the cartridge. And this one also has a cartridge. Um, and I, what I have in this lilac one is just a blue-black um, Shimoyo. Shimoyo, I believe is the one. Shimoyo, no, Shimoyo. Shimoyo, I believe, is what I have in this one. I was trying to remember after I'd inked them. I've got these two, Sailor Le Cool, which I absolutely love. Um, are these? Yeah, I love it. the caps that screw. Um, this is a demonstrator, so it's clear, and this is the rose quartz. And in this one, I just have a... Um, what did I put in this? I put a cartridge of the Sailor Shigure. And in this one, I put a cartridge of whatever came with the Sailor pen. So it's not really a black. It's kind of a blue black, I think. And then I've got, so that's eight pens. And here's four more. Um, these two are... This is the Dryden Designs, and I've just got a brighter green in here. It's the Jean Howe Apple Green in this one, and this is the only fine point I have. Most of the others are medium or medium fine nibs. This one has uh, bottle ink, and it's a beautiful dark green. It's the Sailor Tokiwamatsu. And then I have these two pans that I'm waiting on inks for. I've got three ink samples and a bottle of Sailor ink coming. And so these two will be for that. But these are my two Jean Howe pens um, that I just got. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. It's just beautiful. This one, I buy all inexpensive pens. I got these two on Amazon. All of my pens on Amazon except for two more that are coming. This is um, the Goldstone it's the Jean Howe 100. This is the Jean Howe X750. And this one is a snap cap. Um, and it's ivory white. So I'll be filling those up. So that makes 12 pens. And is that correct? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I've got, what do I have coming? I have two coming from Panchele. Um, very inexpensive pens, and they are not in here. So what do I have? Oh, I got two Platinum Preppies coming, so I'll show you those when they come. Um, really, I pretty stay, much stay with inexpensive pens. Maybe someday I'll get an expensive one, but right now I don't feel the need to do that. So I have 14 fountain pens, <clears throat> and I believe that's correct, right? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So if I get another pen um, to make fifteen, eh, I don't know if I will. But anyway, when those come, I'll show them to you. I'll ink everything up, and um, yeah, I'd be happy with that. So just to get away from that now. Sorry about that. So here's how my things are going. Like I said, this is uh, the dot grid. Not the dot grid, it's the graph um, from Cafe Note. It's their Cafe Note A6 size from Nanami Paper Company. And um, <clears throat> so I have that. And I just use this for notes. This is a brain dump and packing list. So I've got things in here I need to transfer to my. Um, planners, um, things to remember, some uh, goal things I'm working on for 2023. Um, I recently just listed all my fountain pens because I'm going to do a fountain pen and ink swatch journal. Um, and so all that information will move into there. And back here I just did the pens and ink swatches and you know that's a constantly changing thing and I, I'll be doing that in a different journal. So that's that. Currently, the pen I'm using with that is this one. I just love the ink. It's so light, you know? It's just this light, almost, it's black, but it looks gray or a bluish black, but it's a nice light pen, and I really like light color. Then in my tracker, um, I'm doing really good with that. Here's my steps. And then I put in here health um, appointments, and I do need to update date this because I don't have the 24th in here. And um, why don't I do that really quick? Because there's no reason not to, right? So the 24th. Yeah, the 24th, I believe. <sighs> The 24th and the 7th. Let me just check my thing here because this is, tells me my health appointments. February 2nd. Oh, and February Thursdays. Oh, it's Thursday. So the 27th. So I just do three lines with my Tombow marker and then I just take one of my Sarasa, Zebra Sarasa clip. Pins, uh, the 0 0.5 which is a size that's really my favorite size and we've got physical therapy I wasn't able to get an appointment until two weeks later which is too bad and they're ending up to be afternoon appointments so 2 45 p.m. and then the second I have another one and I did have therapy today, so that was good, and got started on exercises for my shoulder, which I needed. So physical therapy, and that is also a 2.45 appointment. All right, so that's kind of what I do. And then I, I just write in here, um, when I get up, I write the, um, <clears throat> hours of sleep and then over here I'm keeping track of what I eat so I did have breakfast when I got back um, from therapy I just had Cheerios and then um, then I just keep track of all the rest of the stuff there and meds vitamins and that's my way in all right um, 
next this I'm gonna just move this one this is my seminary one this was just a different planner I don't even remember who I got it from um, but this is my seminary so it's my school planner so I've got it all set up theological studies is what I'm doing and all I did was I went in and I just did this month is our intensive course on Bible translation so I wrote in um, what the class was, the class name, who was teaching it, and the dates, and then I wrote the assignments for each week, and I check them off in red after I did them. So this is the first week, which today is the sixth, but I already did all of that, and I already did week two. So now I am on to week three, and then there's week four. And then we start to my three month class, um, the beginning or the very end of January. And this was from a, a sweet friend of mine online. It's a little calendar, it's so cute. I thought I'd just put it in there. Yeah, so I have this, this, um, I think this is a personal size. I'm not really sure. Okay, and then I have this one which I still need to work in but this is just gonna be for years this I don't even know what to call it it's just a journal that has everything in it I've shown it a million, million times um, and I'm working on it slowly just goals mind mapping tracking color swatching word of the year color swatching will no longer be in this one probably birthdays etc and then this book back here a Fabriano um, dot grid not a whole lot of pages I think there's 90 and I just use this for um, whatever just writing down ideas and stuff before like putting it in here um, <clears throat> it's kind of the plan with this guy and then I also I got a different cover I had this one for my planner with this co this cover on cover on it and I decided to get on the buy sell group uh, one that was tan inside and a pink outside because I wanted it to match a little bit closer to this so probably next year I'll get a lighter pink week week so that they match a little better but so what I did then with this extra one is I use these um, notebooks from these dark red notebooks from Seven Nanami Paper Company. So this is an A5, and this is my prayer journal. So that just this is gonna last for years. This is the perfect place for it. I think what I'm gonna put in here every year, I'm just gonna slip in a card with my word for the year. So my word for the year is joy. So I still have to get. Um, something to slip in that I don't have it yet then I'm going to be doing this <clears throat> this is a b6 I don't remember where I got it from honestly but it's just a simple Tomoe River paper graph and I'm going to make this my um, hand lettering practice book so that's what that's for and I bought this hand lettering lessons at Michael's Super easy modern calligraphy plus print with traceable alphabets. So they put um, a bunch of paper, tracing paper in the back and you can practice in here. You can put the tracing paper over it and practice. And um, there's all different kinds of styles and it's just practicing it. And I really want to do better and learn hand lettering. So. For me, this is perfect. And this, these are the different ones that they do. And I just love, I love it and I'm excited about it. <clears throat> so that's kind of a new, a new venture for me. Then I'm gonna do, I'm getting an A6 undated Hobonichi um, Techo. So it's not as many pages, but it's still thick enough. And I'm going to put that in this Hobonichi cover that I have. That is just a small cover. Not sure if I need this thing in here, but um, this was in here from a previous Hobonichi. This is a cover from a long time ago. I put stickers on it, and um, that's going to be my ink journal. 
my ink and fountain pen journal when it comes I believe it's coming on Monday so once that comes in I'll do the whole um, swatching stuff I haven't done that yet all right so I've shown you all that fun stuff so now all I have left is the um, the planner so let's just show you that and where we're at and maybe I'll add in some things if I need to um, like here I am recording one YouTube today so let's get the ink it's a dark blue my pen my Sarasa clip today is the sixth so I'm just gonna put recorded just one YouTube I haven't really done anything else creative in here we're on any journals painting fountain pens nothing so yeah we'll just leave it blank all right then let's go to this section right here and see if there's anything new I didn't have already marked in here and actually there is I do need to put the physical therapy in here so I'm going to swatch in that color right there and we are just going to use black for that one so physical therapy and I don't think I have anything else I need to add in here so this becomes like a plan with me and actually I do I have we have a home group starting on the 25th a new group will be at our friend's house and let me find the ink so I'm gonna say this was our Bloomington home group and we just meet every other week so I'll just leave that right there at that and I don't think there's anything else in the busyness of life <laughs> except here we have church so I'll put that I'll put that in there so church RBC church service and I I think that's it for me one thing I do want to put on here is this um, what is my work color work work related things is kind of a green it looks like it's green so let's just put this here because this week right here um, Doug was on call, so Doug on call. This is a black green color. So he was, he's been on call this week with all our snow. I'm sure that was not the funnest, but yeah. And then if I want to put anything in, um, I do have right here, I've got my other um, physical therapy appointment. So let's write that in. And hopefully that will be the last one that I need. That's my, that's my hope. All right, so then the next section would be the weeks section. Um, oh yeah, I've got paper. I've got paper in the weeks. That's why I'm like, where is it? I need to have the one that has the um, flag sticking out of it. So I'm gonna switch that to one of my others because I know some of them I got a little tab. All right, so here's this week. Um, I had physical therapy and now I can mark off some other things I did I think um, 
I did my balance sheet, so that's done. Didn't do anything else. Working out did not happen. Um, yeah, I've still got some things to do. I have not finished there, so I won't worry about those. So today, today I have, um, oh, where's my pen? Okay, so up here we'll put my quiet time. Six o'clock. Oops. Well, anyway. And then uh, when I got back, I had breakfast at nine o'clock. And then I started work at nine thirty. And then I worked until, when did I work until? This is why I have this little daily log that just gives me a little bit of information. Worked till 10.45, at which time I had coffee. So 10.45, right about there. And then what I did is I had coffee YouTube, oops. Didn't spell coffee right. YouTube and news. Until I started to, boy, is that messy. I, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm not afraid to use whiteout. I always use whiteout in my planners and journaling. Doesn't bother me. So coffee, let's say news and YouTube watching because I love to do that. And then if I come back here, I started recording. It's 11.30, yeah, 11.30. So right here, let's just do this in a different ink color. Um, maybe this one. Then I'm just going to put record YouTube. And I know when I finish this, I will have a little bit of work to do. I see I got some work come in. Um, yeah, and there'll be other things. Not a whole lot, really, so I'm just going to leave that blank. So that is done, and then here's next week, which I need to decorate and and actually plan out. I have not planned out yet, so I do need to do that. Let's see if we can get this to, to stay. I can't seem to get it to stay. Which tip is this? The hard tip, which is what I want. We'll just try again, get that to stay for us. Yeah, so I want to decorate, like here I decorated right there. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So I will come back sometime when I decide um, I got a plan this week and decorate this week yet. So we're just gonna leave that for now. So here's my daily log. So I want to share this with you. Um, what I've done, here's the I decided to name this, this turning the page to a new year into 2023 aspirations. So I have six main areas. Um, I usually take the whole month of January to figure this out. So I don't pressure myself to have it done January 1st because I just can't. So faith, creative, relax, health, finding balance, and future dreams. So I did get the creative stuff filled out. Um, these are just things I wanna work on during 2023. So watercolor, hand lettering, um, different types of junk journals, Bible journaling, junk journals to sell. Who Probably won't do that, but you know, it's an aspiration. YouTube videos and fountain pen and ink journal. And then relax, knitting, jigsaw puzzles, read, watch YouTube videos, coffee on my deck. And coloring and I haven't done anything else and I haven't even figured out what I want to do on this page so this page is still empty um, not quite sure and then I did January 1st 
Um, I really like how this turned out. It's so cute. And January 2nd. And January 3rd. Yeah. January 3rd. And I have to finish decorating. And January 4th. A little bit more decorating to do. The 5th. And then here's today, so I started. And what I did is um, I just do a very abbreviated log. Um, the color I'm using for the daily log this time is in my La Cool. And it's that, it's that, um, it's the one that's the Sailor cartridge, which is the one that came with the pen kind of that grayish blue, blue black, I think. Um, and I'm going to just put this in here because I didn't. 1130 was record YouTube video. And then I did, I'm doing the writing um, of the daily writing. I am doing in this color which is this bottled ink and it is the Sailor Tokiwa Mats Tokiwa Matsu which is in here and so I'm writing in that color here and just about the day and really depends how much writing I do before I decide um, if I'm putting something there. So that's kind of where that's at the point. I think I'm all cut up except um, just showing you guys new things. Um, except for this last thing. Last time I showed you my planner box. I bought a box. I switched all my Bible quiet time stuff into that box because I decided it would be better to do something like this. Um, for my, I had all that stuff in there, so I took this because I thought, you know what, this has more because it's got a zipper. If I ever need it, it's got these pockets. So I moved my tall stickers here. I moved my boxes of washi tape here, my pans and my brush pans and my supplies. I think I showed you that I got a new, I don't, maybe I didn't. I got this darling, look at this cute scissor for my washi. This is kind of my on the go. So I always have that, but I don't have to use that so much here. I've got my different small stickers. And then here are the other small stickers and my stencils. So this is, this is working out well. And then I can take my fountain pen bag and that goes right here. And everything fits perfectly. I'm so happy with it. So it's really a good supply bag. Yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little catch up. I'm going to do another video just on uh, this Hobonichi. I'm going to do the decorating of the, the coming week. And then I'm going to do the decorating of the pages and talking about what happened on each of these days in my next video. So thanks guys for watching and have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.